Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the top 10 African destinations for US travelers. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Although Africa may not always be on the radar of the ordinary traveler, those who do visit will have the opportunity to encounter the perfect blend of old and modern, wild and urban, east and west. We rank the best places to visit in Africa based on accessibility, cost, and diversity of things to do, as well as user votes and expert comments, to help you start planning your trip. Vote for your favorite destinations below to help us determine the best destinations for next year. Africa caters to all types of travelers, from city trips to safaris and beach vacations. Here are some must-see tourism destinations for Americans across the continent. Number 10. Botswana. Botswana is the ideal place to visit if you're seeking for a nice safari trip. Botswana is home to the Okavango Delta, which is bordered by South Africa, Namibia and Zimbabwe. The Delta is one of the world's most popular wilderness places. It is situated in the Kalahari Basin. You may see a wide variety of wildlife and vegetation here. The Sedilo Hills are a great place to visit if you're interested in culture and tradition. The San People's Villages can be visited, and rock art dating back thousands of years can be seen. Luxury lodges, inexpensive guest houses, and camping areas are all available. From $960 per person per night, you may stay at the and beyond Zarana Okavango Delta Camp. The Chobe Game Lodge in the Chobe National Park is another alternative. Visit the Botswana Tourism website for additional information about lodging. The Republic of Botswana's government website has information about visa requirements. If you're coming from a place where yellow fever is a danger, you'll require a yellow fever vaccination certificate. The distance between Johannesburg and Gaborone is over 340 kilometers if you drive. From Vindhoek, Air Namibia operates flights to Gaborone. Travelers from Harare may book Air Botswana flights to Gaborone. Number 9. Kenya. Kenya is an excellent choice for family vacations, safaris, and beach vacations. Between October and March is the greatest time to come. If you're looking for a wellness getaway, Lamu is a lovely place to visit. Yoga retreats, beautiful beaches, and a laid-back vibe may all be found here. From Mandar Island, you can take a Dao ferry to the island. You may experience the diversity of aquatic life nestled in coral reefs at Malindi and Watamu. Lake Nakuru is also a great place to go bird watching. If you enjoy wildlife, Amboseli National Park is a must-see destination. The breathtaking vista of Mount Kilimanjaro is also available. If you're interested in culture and history, the Gede ruins in Watamu will provide you with a wealth of information about the island's past. Knowing a little Swahili, Kenya's national language, is quite beneficial. It will be easy for you to make friends with the locals. Diani Place is a good place to stay if you're looking for a place to stay. The cost of admission is $84, with a starting price of $151, Shella Royal House in Lamu is an excellent choice. Loi Mara Luxury Lodge, with a starting price of $308 per night, is a wonderful choice if you're in the Maasai Mara region. Visit the Tourism Kenya website for additional information on lodging. Number 8. Lesotho. Lesotho is an ideal location for a nature getaway. You can witness the best animals while immersed in the gorgeous Maloti Mountains. During the country's winter season, adventurers can enjoy a ski excursion. The parks and reserves are the principal tourist attractions. At Celebathib National Park, you can see a wide diversity of birds. The Sani Pass, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is also worth seeing. The Drakensberg Escarpment separates Lesotho and South Africa, and the pass is located there. It is at a height of 2,874 meters above sea level. Number 7. Morocco. Moroccans describe the country as having an African and European feel to it. Because of its proximity to Europe, it has a blend of North African and European culture. The Gemma El FNA market is a must-see for everyone interested in learning about Moroccan culture. It's in the Medina district of Marrakesh. Gemma El FNA is a shopper's paradise, with everything from clothes to artwork for sale. At the food stalls, you can also sample traditional Moroccan cuisine. A number of trips are available to learn about Berber culture and history. The Berber trip is a camel and desert adventure that will teach you about Morocco's nomadic people. You have the option of taking a single day journey or a 16 day trip. When you visit Ait Benhadou, you'll enjoy learning about traditional pre-Saharan living. 
It's a fortified town near Marrakesh that's positioned along a former caravan route. You'll be able to witness how ancient architects built buildings inside the confines of defensive walls. The town has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 6. Zanzibar. Zanzibar is a tropical island paradise in Africa. On the island, you'll find crystal clear waters and delicious meals. There are other other islands to visit around the archipelago. To enter Tanzania, you'll need a visa, which costs $50 and can be obtained via the Tanzanian consulate or upon arrival. On the island, the Zanzibar Ocean Panorama Hotel is a popular lodging option. The cost of a room ranges from $35 to $50, with dorm rooms costing $20. Pemba Island, around 100 kilometers from Zanzibar, is Tanzania's hidden jewel. It has less tourists than Zanzibar, making it a good choice for a quiet vacation. On the Zanzibar archipelago, Pemba is still a major spice grower. Agriculture generates more revenue than tourists. You can learn more about the island's agriculture sector by conversing with residents. They can also provide information on the numerous fruit and spice trees. Number 5. Reunion Island. Reunion Island is a magnificent African paradise nestled in the balmy Indian Ocean. The Piton de la Fornes, an active volcano on the island, is the first item to know. The volcano's activity has resulted in luxuriant flora that attracts a variety of species. Hiking is a terrific way to get around the island, and there are many trails to choose from. If you're a diver, you'll appreciate exploring the island's waters for the variety of marine life. Reunion is a culturally diverse island. A blend of Creole, African, Indian, Chinese, and French roots awaits you. On the island, you'll be spoiled for choice in terms of languages, festivals, and cuisine. Number 4. Rwanda. Rwanda's breathtaking scenery has given it the moniker, Land of a Thousand Hills. It has a magnificent mountainous scenery and six active volcanoes. The Volcanoes National Park is a must-see for anybody visiting the East African country. Mountain gorillas and golden monkeys, the park's most famous attraction, may be found here. You'll also be able to see a wide range of flora. Lake Kivu offers a variety of aquatic activities. It is Rwanda's largest lake as well as Africa's sixth largest lake. At the lake, you can go on boat rides, kayak, or fish. Rwanda is the place to visit if you enjoy hot beverages like tea or coffee. A tea plantation tour is a great way to see tea fields and learn more about the industry. These tours can be booked through travel agents or Rwanda tourism. Number 3. Sao Tome e Principe. S. Tome and Principe is the smallest country in Africa, located in the Gulf of Guinea in Western Africa. If you're searching for a peaceful getaway, this island is the place to go. Beautiful beaches and good diving opportunities await you. Divers will be able to see the island's unique aquatic life. Ilheu das Rolas, at the south of the island, and Ila da Santana are the best diving spots. Club Maxel, the island's primary diving service, can arrange diving expeditions. Between July and September, whale viewing is a popular pastime on the island. These magnificent species can be seen at Ila das Cabras and Lagoa Azul. Number 2. South Africa. South Africa welcomes all types of visitors. The country is an ideal destination for everything from city getaways to safaris and beach vacations. The I Simangaliso Wetlands Park in KwaZulu-Natal is known for its natural beauty. The park is home to Africa's largest estuarine system, which is a fascinating fact. You'll trek among historic coastal dunes and beaches that reach all the way to Mozambique's Kosi Bay. The park has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. South Africa's highest mountain range is found in the Ukalamba Drakensberg Park on the Wild Coast. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site as well. Number 1. Seychelles. If you're looking for a romantic holiday or a wellness retreat, Seychelles is the place to go. The Indian Ocean Island nation of Seychelles is made up of 115 islands. Beautiful beaches and a diverse range of species may be found in Seychelles offshore islands. Alphonse and Desroches are the two most important. The island is a must-see if you wish to be completely immersed in nature and unwind. Divers can see a variety of marine life while diving and exploring unspoiled coral reefs. Activities such as fishing and sailing are available. The best part is that you may swim in the island's clear blue waters. Seychelles has a diversified people with a rich culture. The Seychellois were descendants of Africans, Asians, and Europeans. 
they brought their own traditions, languages, and cuisines with them. On the island, Creole, French, and English are the most widely spoken languages. Fish, spices, and tropical fruit make up the local food, which is wonderful. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.